dirty on the second day of Project Spring Cleaning 2015. I just woke up, well, about 15 minutes ago. Really had a hard time sleeping, and the beginning was really funny because it was all about the fact that I was so excited that um, I couldn't fall asleep because I wanted it to be today already. It was just really funny when you think about it. And then my sugar crashed. I hit 51. So that, of course, made it very difficult. I think I eventually fell asleep around 3, 3.30 um, after eating french fries in the middle of the night and drinking Coke. <laughs> uh, and now I, I, I have energy. I woke up. I'm probably going to aim to have a nap throughout the day, so maybe that will help with energy level. The first two things I'm going to do this morning is pack the pile of winter clothes that I have and the small pile of clothes that are a size too small. Um, yeah, those that's the first two things I'm going to do. Yay! I just uh, downloaded all the photos that I've been doing. I left my YouTube running on my co computer in my bedroom and I did not look for this topic. This, this is really weird that it ended up on it, but it's running, you know, the autoplay. And somehow it ended up on these series of videos of how to clean your vagina. Why? First of all, there's a lot of them out there in various quality of, 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 of video. But why are there so many? And why did I end up on them? That's what's more alarming to me. And Timmy's singing. Are you singing? Are you singing? Yeah? Yeah? Oh. So what's up? It's all good? You want to go out? Yeah? Oh. Okay, enough kitty talk. Um, so, third update of the day, I'm walking in the dark, I'm walking in the dark, okay, uh, the thing that I did, I have two boxes full of shoes that I'm going to give away that came from various uh, storage boxes, these are the, well, okay, these three I said, they're made out of leather, those I think I've worn maybe once, the ones on top, uh, those I don't know, I might be giving those away. Uh, the gray ones I said, the gray ones and the orange ones I'm thinking about giving away. Those I think are too small, so I'm probably going to give them away. And those are what I call, well, last night I didn't show you them really up close. But, <laughs> and I, I just hold on to them. I, I would never be able to wear them simply because I do wear heels, but something like that is really high. It's like 15 centimeters tall, and they're so massive. So, I don't know, I'm going to probably save them for a costume or something. I just don't see who would want them in any case, so I'm just holding on to them right now. Um, the other thing is, I will show you the progress. First of all, I need to clear out the last junk drawer in my um, uh, room. Okay, this is the pile of foldies. First of all, I have my printed jeans. I love these. I know that they're not as, as in style as they were two summers ago. I still love them. I still will keep them. I got rid of three, including one that kind of looked like pajamas that everybody encouraged me to get rid of. Uh, these are my shorts, as I pointed out before, but I added three other ones. These are like uh, baggy um, cargo pants, I think they're called. These are my jeans shorts that I love. I actually wear and I feel very proud of them. I feel very proud of me when I wear them. And this is 7 8 length. length. It's just a regular kind of... So, no way in hell am I going to wear it in that length. It's just not complimentary to, I think, nobody, basically. And I will probably make them uh, knee length, which is a good length for me because it shows off my legs. My slacks, I have one black one, one gray one. I have this, which I'm wearing probably until it falls apart. I thought there were four here. One, two, three. Oh, and I think there's, no, okay, I'm sorry, there's three. And I have another one that's not here that's a stripy gray. I, I think it's hanging. Um, my jeans that I actually wear are here. And then, um, and as you can see, they, they, they do vary, but most of them, oh, my, most of my pants are from a brand called Renoir. Israeli brand. Uh, these are all in yes, those are cat hairs. This after I figure out where everything's going, this is gonna go be, go in laundry. Uh, um, 
Oh, this one probably should go as well. I love these. I haven't worn them because I forgot I had them. And aren't these really, really nice? Just to have a nice little felt pattern on them. These are pants. The ones in the bottom are thicker, so I put them on the bottom. These are colored. This is actually more coral pink than orange. I don't know why it's showing like that in the camera. Mint. Mint was really big. I actually wore those quite a bit. These are half jeans, half pants, but I put them here because they all go with my color. Blue, purple, uh, dark purple, and this dark burgundy color. Um, and these uh, have two, three black pairs of pants. They're a little bit different than I think the, the model, the Degum. What's the Degum? The cut is a little bit different, but they're pretty much the same thing, and they're all from, again, Lenoir. So I did my pants. That's the other thing that I did. Um, and these are more jeans. These are jeans that are too tight for me right now. And these I'm thinking about getting rid of. They fit, but they, and they're a nice fit. They would fit somebody. Unfortunately, they're just a centimeter too short, so they keep falling, they keep falling underneath my belly, so that's not a good look. Folded my tank tops, although I know already that I'm going to be hanging them, which I think is the best way, because they always get messed up, even though they look like a nice neat pile now. And these are jeans that I don't know if I should keep, I don't know if I should make shorter, I just don't know. So, I don't have too many jeans, so I'm probably okay when it comes to that. Um, okay, so then I went through the huge pile that was on on this side of the couch that was uh, shirts. Um, so these are t-shirts, uh, these are fashionable t-shirts, I would call. These are sleeveless t-shirts. The tanks I'm putting there, as I said, and tanks that are PJs and sweats are going in there and that pile. These are just really baggy t-shirts, so I have, but a lot of them are like, they have a print on them. So like, this is from my boot camp t-shirt, and um, this is from when I went to the Linkin Park concert that they did in Tel Aviv. God, I cried. <laughs> I was so happy. Uh, this was from a trip at a lot that my friends got me a t-shirt, etc, etc. These are, they, they take a whole pile in their own right. Um, I think the, all the colors are here. As you can see, they're very nice and colorful. I think they're all here. Yeah, I think they are. Um, this is a great shape for me. And every summer they had, they were bringing in, uh, as you can see, they have, they're just here and they crease up here in this midsection and they're long enough and they're a nice, uh, the, the right, they're a trico or cotton material and every summer they used to bring them in, again, into my favorite store, Le Noir, but for some reason they haven't brought them in this summer. I, I don't know if they had them last summer, uh, but I got, I got a lot of the colors. I don't think that I got all the colors all the time. Uh, these are shirts that I have to hang up. There are shirts already that are hanging up on the rack. These are lacy shirts. So, like, this and this. And I'm, I'm wondering, I'm debating about those. Those are not necessarily button-ups, but I figured out what I need to call them. They're collar shirts. Those are... Uh, th that pile is the giveaway pile from the shirts. I already put in the giveaway pile about five t-shirts and a tunic and that's the maybe pile towards leaning to give away and that's the probably going to give away but I'm going to hold on for them for just a little bit longer probably a season more those are my shirts that I just wear during the day they're not t-shirts by definition but they are but you know what I mean and uh, here's another t-shirt actually that should go there and these are just um, a little bit dressier, so I'll put, probably put them on the bottom of the pile, that's all. But they'll go in there as well. That's the update for now. Um, I thought I would be able to get rid of more t-shirts, actually. Uh, more shirts in general. Um, I'm wondering if I should be hanging out more shirts. Simply because it makes life easier just to grab them and go. Because I'm wondering if to put a very, very low rack in my room that's very short, not very tall, that's what I mean, and hang short uh, skater skirts there and maybe shirts, uh, which means I would be wearing them more. So, also then I'll be able to do the technique where you put them all up, so you put the hangers on one side and after you use it you hang them, they fa you have the hanger facing the other direction. And there, that way by the end of the season you know what you've been wearing. It's a cool idea. 
so yeah, I'm going to be um, folding these into nice neat piles. Yep, that's the update. Okay, so I'm on to the next uh, project. I basically have gathered <laughs> every single box, basket, some kind of whatever of every single bathing suit, underwear, bra, sports bra, socks, stockings, uh, shapewear, every single bit of it is on the table right now. And this box, and this box, and this box, and this box, and this box. And this is the only box, I'm gonna point this out, I'm gonna give this a highlight. This is the only box that I know for sure already that I'm putting back as I pull it out basically. I just have to add some of the stuff which is not in here. But basically this is my, um, you know how you find a brand of bra and underwear that you really like? Well, this is it for me. I really like the underwear by Triumph. They're the Amuleto 300. I really like those as well, but this is this is my set. Now, there's probably a better way of storing this in terms of saving space, but I really like this, and I know that I can always just, I, I and I've been doing this. This has been like this for a while, and I've actually been pulling out the box and taking out. So all the bras, I basically do the standard uh, stacking method like that, and then all the matching underwear are just thrown around inside the box. And it's working for me. So yeah, that's going to be the next project. What I'm going to do in the first stage is basically, oh, the bras and underwear that go in here are going to go in here, and this is going to go directly back into my uh, wardrobe together with my shoes, which is the only thing in there right now. And then I'm going to sort out my socks into one pile, which I'm probably going to be doing later. That's a sitting job. Uh, so when I get a little bit tired, but I still want to do something, that's what I'm going to do. And um, the rest of my bras, and my, I'll figure out what I want to do with my stockings. I might be putting up some of my stockings because I have stockings still in their packages. I got them when they're on sale because when you're plus size and you find something that works for you, which is just a good deal, you just buy it. An empty box will be in the garbage. <laughs> uh, and that's it. I, I just so amazed by the quantity, sheer quantity of all of this. But this I think is one of the most difficult, um, these kind of things I think are the most difficult uh, items in your wardrobe to store. If I had lots of hanging space, I think you, the best way is to hang your underwear and, uh, it's, it's, sorry, to hang your bras, yeah. Uh, and I have seen people do it. I think it's really pretty, especially if you have very few bras. I have a lot in, in various categories because I buy cheap bras and uh, I like everything else I'm a hoarder <laughs> so that's pretty much it and yeah I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go back to working <sighs>